Welcome back to another Pokemon TCG video. It's your boy Daddy Mac and I'm a little bit late to the party but we are going to go ahead and showcase a new deck today. A beautiful Dragapult EX deck. Let me make this an active deck real quick. It's such a beautiful deck. It's one of my favorite decks that I've been playing recently. There's uh, a lot of good things to say about this deck. We're going to go ahead and take a dive into it and we're going to go ahead and see how good this deck is. Now without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start game one and then we'll see how this deck treats us as always we're always going to go ahead and showcase the deck recipe or the deck build towards the end of the video so make sure you go take a look at that towards the end of the video i did get my bottom braces i feel like i'm talking with a heavy lisp really feel like it's worse when i say the word lisp but it is what it is we're going to go first because we're running a stage two deck. And to start things off, we mulligan. Had we gotten a Dreepy to start things off, it wouldn't been, it would have been a pretty good hand, to be honest. We'll see what kind of deck my opponent is running. Okay, so we get a Tatsugiri to start things off. Not the worst thing in the world. So we're going to go ahead and start with that. Basically allows us to get a supporter card by looking at the top six cards in my deck. So we're going to go ahead and go first. We're against a, uh, a, Sparth a Spathra, a Spathra EX and a Dragapult EX deck. That's going to be pretty cool, not going to lie. First things first, I'm going to hit the Capturing Aroma. It's going to determine my second turn. We do get the head, so we get an Evolution card. And to be honest, I was hoping for a Tails. We're just gonna hit these Atsu up and get set up where we can. And we're gonna go ahead and hit up the Tatsugiri to start things off. We do get an Arvin and a Boss's Orders. We're gonna get the Arvin to start things off. Sadly, I can't use it yet, but we're gonna go ahead and hit up the... I got Jamming Tower for future box decks, in case you're wondering, and Ancient Box decks as well. So I don't think we're going to play that because we got the rescue board for the Tatsugiri. So we're just going to go ahead and call turn and see what my, what my opponent hits us with. In our hand, I do want to play rescue board on Tatsugiri on the next turn. I want to see if I can get some kind of Dreep Beyond play. We do got an Arvin. So worst case scenario, I get the Buddy Buddy Puffin and another um, rescue board or something like that. So my opponent has an Arvin of his own. They do have two Dreepy on board and a Charmander as far as their bench goes. Hit the Nest Ball, get the Entei V, and we get Forest Seal Stone. What's really beautiful about the, the Dragapult EX deck is that it has Dracloak, and Dracloak's Recon Directive is pretty dang good. It's like an engine of its own, and I really like it. So my opponent switches into Entei V. Not the worst thing in the world, but also not the greatest thing, to be honest with you. We're going to go ahead and play the Arvin, and we're going to go ahead and get our Buddy Buddy Puffin. And we're going to get another Rescue Board. Actually, we're going to hit the Evolution. That's going to be good. We'll hit that up. We're going to play the Buddy Buddy Puffin. We're going to get two Dreepy to start things off. Because we do got the Evolution. Um... Play the Natu. And I feel like I gotta play the energy to Tatsugiri here. Because what we're gonna go ahead and do, we're gonna play the evolution after we play attract customers. Ooh, Iono is gonna be good for the next turn, not gonna lie. And we're gonna go ahead and play the evolution. This is gonna allow us to get two Dracloak. Oh, I'm an idiot. Never mind. I didn't realize it did it one at a time. But now we got two Dracloak on play. Next turn is going to be pretty nice for us, not even going to lie. Especially if we can go ahead and get a Psychic Energy. We don't need our Rare Candy. I got a feeling Tatsugiri is going to go down as well. So there is that. And assuming I am able to bring in a uh, Dragapult. And assuming I have the proper energy for it. I'm going to try to take that Flittle. So my opponent plays the Fleet Footed. Actually, they play the Forest Seal Stone and use their V-Star ability. There's their Red Candy. They're going to bring in the Charizard EX. That's actually underrated. Now, it does take deck resources because you got to 
run a Charmander and a Charizard and maybe even the other cards, but that's pretty dang good. They're going to boss up my Zatu, which is going to slow me down just a little bit. Not the best thing in the world for us. Burning Rondo is going to take the Zatu, which is somewhat of an engine on this deck. It accelerates my energy, so it helps us out. We do got the Tatsugiri in play now. Okay. See, Psychic Energy. That would have been beautiful, not going to lie. So what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to play this to the Dracloak. Play the Rescue Board to the Dracloak that actually already has the Psychic Energy. And I actually feel okay playing Jamming Tower just in case they got anything else. We could always Lost Vacuum it later. I think I'm running Lost Vacuum in a sec, I don't remember. Got another Buddy Buddy Puffin. And I actually like Pokemon League Headquarters, should have used that instead. Mm, we're gonna play the Buddy Buddy Puffin here. Gonna get another Dreepy and another Natu. And then we're going to start playing Dracloak here. Actually, we're going to play the uh, Attract Customers first on the Tatsugiri. And I like Arvin. I do like Arvin. And then we're going to hit up Dracloak here. Let's see what we can go ahead and get. Don't mind Tatsugiri. But it's only if it's active. We're going to play another Dracloak. Recon Directive. I like Luminion, just in case. Okay, our board is somewhat set. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's somewhat set. Mm, what I'm gonna do next is we gotta call turn. Yeah, I'm gonna call turn. And the reason behind that is because I don't want to play Arvin or anything. Oh, actually, I think I already played. Yeah, I played Iono. I don't wanna play anything else on board simply because I feel like I could use this deck, this spot here for another Dracloak and another Dreepy. I'm running four and four. Iona's gonna mess up that strategy just a tad. I'm hoping we get an Arvin though. If we get an Arvin, that's gonna be pretty good. We do got two Dragapult that we can put to our pending Dracloak here, which is pretty nice. And we got the basic fire energy, which is gonna allow us to get the Dracloak on the board going. My opponent plays a Poke Gear 3.0. And if I recall, they got a Jack. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to play right off the bat. Burning Rondo is going to take our Tatsugiri. And that's perfectly fine by me. I'm going to play our Dracloak that's on our bench the one with the psychic energy and we're gonna go ahead and just play the fire energy on that Dracloak I want to play a rare candy on the Dreepy that's on board because I don't want to lose the Dracloak that's um, on board already and I'm not talking about the one on my active spot we're gonna play buddy buddy puffin just to grab the Tatsugiri that's down there and we're gonna hit up the Iono give my opponent four cards instead of you know their five that they had, six or whatever it was. There's the Zatu. This is actually starting to play out in our favor because we got the Professor Turo scenario, which is pretty dang sweet if you ask me. We're gonna play a Zatu and we're gonna attach a Psychic Energy to our bench Dragapult EX. And the field is definitely set. I'm gonna play Pokemon League Headquarters. That way they don't attack with their Entei and I'm gonna take their little Flittle that's on the backboard. I'm gonna play Recon Directive. Look at this, another Dracloak, and we got a Boss's Orders. Boss's Orders is gonna be pretty handy for later. And for now, we simply click Phantom Dive, and we're gonna take this little Flittle that's on the back. Little Flittle is going down, and we take any other Dracloak, to be honest. I could have taken the Dreepy. But I got a feeling they're going to evolve it next turn anyways. And we take a prize card, which is a fire, uh, fire energy. Honestly, one thing that I have not been doing recently that I should be doing more consistently, especially if I'm planning to play IRL, is search and identify what our prize pool is. Ultra Ball comes out. 
I think my opponent attached an energy to a Dreepy. Yeah, I wasn't paying a full attention. And honestly, they cannot um, retreat here, which is pretty sweet. Recon Directive again. Honestly, I feel pretty good. What I kind of want to do is force out that Dragapult and do something. I don't know what I want to do fully, but I am starting to consider my next play. Yeah, they're going to switch. That's fine by me. Because what I'm actually going to do is play Professor Turo Scenario. 210 is a pretty hefty amount of damage, not even going to lie. Yeah, Capturing Aroma comes out. I'm not, I don't need it to be honest. I can definitely take this NTV here. But what I'm gonna do, of all things, I'm gonna go ahead and play Professor Turo Scenario to bring back my Dragapult. I know I discarded a bunch of stuff. Play the Dragapult that's on my bench. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the Recon Directive here. And this Fire Energy is gonna be super crucial. I'm gonna play another Dreepy. Play the Dragapult on the Draclok. And then with Zatu, we're gonna go ahead and hit up the Psychic Energy and we're gonna draw two more cards after this. Look at that, we got another Draclok. I feel pretty good with how we're playing, to be honest. I do have a Luminian, I believe, in my deck too, so I can search up something afterwards. And we're gonna hit the Phantom Dive here. 200 damage on this Charizard, but most importantly, we're gonna go ahead and take this Entei. And we're gonna put the rest of our damage counters on this Draclok. That leaves it with 50 damage counters, and I should be able to take the win on this next turn, to be honest. Like, we got another Dragapult EX. We're feeling really good. My opponent, Ionos, it's definitely game. But we're knocking on wood right now. There's an energy search. They technically got the Recon Directive. So they can still search out the cards that they need from the top of their deck. They can use that twice. And depending on how... Depending on how many Iono they have, this might be a problem. Here comes another Dragapult EX. I don't think they got supporter cards. They definitely don't. This is... Not game yet. Totally not game yet. Here comes the Phantom Dive. I'm definitely going to take this Charizard EX, though. So much of a threat that it's not even funny. I really want to Ur Earthen Vessel next because I want to play another Psychic Energy to that Dreepy. You can put the damage counters you want on Zatu. You can totally do that. That's fine by me. We got another Dreepy, so that's a- oh look, we got the Psychic. Okay, we're gonna play Zatu here. And we're gonna attach the Psychic Energy to the Draclok that we have already on board. And we got a Fire Energy. We're definitely rolling. I really like this hand. Okay. I'm gonna play Capturing Aroma. Hope for a head so I can get something else, and it's a Tails. We, um... Got nothing except for Luminian. Not the worst case, not the worst thing in the world, too. Recon Directive. Let's see what we can go ahead and do here. We got an Arvin. Gonna go ahead and grab that Arvin. Our hand is looking absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I should have attached the fire energy to this Dragapult. I don't know what I was thinking. Because I got the rescue board. I'm gonna go ahead and play the rescue board on that Dragapult anyways. And then the Phantom Dive, we're going to put the 5 on this Draclok here, and next turn, we should be able to take the W, assuming my opponent does not evolve that Draclok. This is getting very close. Very close match, and I really like it. Like we got 2 Arvin, bringing the count to 3. Okay, it's coming down to the wire. Pretty good mirror match so far. And I feel really good. Legacy energy. Ooh. That's definitely going to mess us up.
I don't even know what I want to do. Lost Vacuum doesn't matter at this point anymore. They can take my Zatu. This is getting really close. Very uncomfortably close. And to be honest, they might win it this, this next turn. We're going to play our Dragapult EX. Okay. We're going to play our Fire Energy. And this honestly messes everything up. Let's see what we can get with our Recon Directive, though. Boss's orders is nice. I like unfair stamp too, though. I don't think we need it. Boss's orders is nice. Let's see what we got with Dracloak here. Another Dracloak. We're gonna hit up the Dracloak. And we play our Dragapult here. We're going to Super Art or Dragapult and both of these energy cards. Why, you may ask? That's a really good question. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the Luminion V. Luminion V is going to allow me to get a Turo. Which we're going to go ahead and play now. We're going to pick up the Tatsugiri because I don't want to risk any more shenanigans. And we're going to go ahead and discard the Tatsugiri. We don't need a Narvin. We actually don't even need a Rare Candy. But I want to pick up this Dragapult. And I really want to minimize um, the damage that my opponent can do with their damage counters. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the Phantom Dive. This is going to put 200 damage counters here. It's not... That Dragapult, um, this one here, does not matter. But at the same time, I really don't want it to keep on using um, that directive attack that it has. And honestly, that should prevent it. What? Wow. That's a dub. Here comes match two of the video. We got a Natsu to start things off. And honestly, not the worst hand in the world. Let's see what we got. My opponent goes first. This is actually a good thing because considering our starting hand, what I really want to do on the next turn is play an Arvin, get a Buddy Buddy Puffin of my own. And I'm hoping I get an energy card. If we get an energy card, that would pre that would be pretty good. That would be really good, actually, because then I can attach the evolution and I can go ahead and, and evolve my two Dreepy. Oh, this is a gimmicky deck. This is a very interesting deck, actually. So my opponent, turn one, a bench full of pokes. So in their bench, they have two Snorunt, a Growlithe, an Alakid, and a Munkadori. We don't want to give the hand advantage with an Iono. So what I really want to do here is Play the Arvin. We're gonna get our two Buddy Buddy Puffin and a Rescue Board. We're gonna play the Buddy Buddy Puffin and we're gonna grab Tatsugiri. Is that the play? I like Tatsugiri. I really do. This is gonna allow us to play the Rescue Board on the Natu. I'm um, simply put, we're gonna retreat to our own Tatsugiri here. Because we're not going to play any Pokemon from the bench, I'm not stressing about getting rid of the Grape Jaw Bog. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab this and we get nothing. No supporter cards. That's fine. That really is just fine. Okay. Let's see what our hand deals next turn. And depending on what we get, I might do something. It'll definitely determine on what we do moving forward. So my opponent has three cards in hand, not the worst thing in the world, assuming they don't have a supporter card. And I'm gonna try to keep their hand size limited. What does Frostless do? During Pokemon a checkup, put one damage counter on each Pokemon that has an ability. 
Whoa. How did you burn my Tatsugiri? Oh, with Singe. That makes sense. Okay. That's why we, we read cards around here. I'm going to play the Zatu. And then we're going to play the Capturing Aroma. We definitely get a Heads. And this is going to allow us to get a Dra uh, Dracloak. Okay. I'm going to play the Dracloak. Please give us an Arvin. We're running for Arvin. And this is actually a good chance. Uh, we got an Iono. Um, let's play the Recon Directive here. Let's see what we can get. We get another Dreepy. And we definitely get an Arvin. Now we get the Arvin. Ah, oh, man. We gotta play for the future. I'm gonna get an Arvin for next turn. Watch me get an Arvin the turn that follows. Wouldn't that be something? We're gonna play the Arvin, though. Why? Because I really want to get... So our, our only... Earthen Vessel is on the prize pool. I'm just taking a quick note. I'm trying to see what we got. We got a Buddy Buddy Puffin in there too. Okay, we're running out of time. Our earthen vessel is not where we want it to be. So, to be honest, we're just gonna set up with another Buddy Buddy Puffin, and we're gonna grab two more Dreepy. We're gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna retreat, put in my Zatu here. And I'm only retreating because I don't want my Tatsugiri to continue to get burn damage. And for now, we call turn. We just don't got the cards that we need right now. Munkidori is probably going to knock us out. That was... I didn't realize until literally right now. Let's just hope my opponent doesn't see it, though. There's another Darkness Energy. Very gimmicky deck, and I'm not getting the cards that I need, which is very unfortunate. Look, there's a Hesea and Arcanine. Proud Fangs is going to knock us out too, and they see it. We're definitely going down. Okay, Zatu goes down. There's prize card number one for my opponent. That's very unfortunate for me. Comes Tatsugiri. Tatsugiri is going to go down next turn, so there's no use in keeping it. We do get a Dragapult EX. Come on, give me something good. Boss's orders is fine, I guess. Fuck. I just really don't want to hit up the Iono. I straight up don't want to hit the Iono. I really am dreading having to hit the Iono. Give me an Arvin. Give me something. Nothing. That is really unfortunate for me. See what capturing aroma brings. Get a tails. Well, we can get a luminian without having to waste resources. There is that. I'm really just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do here. Without my earthen vessel, we are in a bit of a bind. I got all my energy. I'm just not drawing any. I got a Professor Turo in my prize pool as well.
I'm literally not getting anything at all. We're just gonna hit the unfair stamp. Give me some kind of energy. There you go! That's exactly what I wanted. Not that hard. This is beautiful. Very beautiful. Um... Honestly, attach the fire energy to the Dragapult just in case we get something later. And our Tatsugiri is gonna have to go down here in just a moment. We're gonna let it go down. We ain't got a choice. And, um... We're gonna bring in Dreepy. We're just gonna let it go down. That Munkidori can, in theory, place damage counters wherever it wants. I think I got a, a Natu in the prize pool as well. I'm gonna put a question mark. I'm taking notes to myself. Proud Fangs takes us down. This is where I'm gonna actually gonna come in with Dragapult. Monkey Dory is gonna be a pain though. Okay. Here we go. What do we got? Nothing much, to be honest. Okay. With Dragapult, we hit the Phantom Dive. We're gonna take the Elekid. That's three free damage counters right there. And we're gonna take the Frost Last on the turn that follows. Or at least try. We honestly somewhat caught up. With two prize cards. We got an Iono and the Earthen Vessel that I desperately needed. Okay. Don't ask me what we're gonna do because I have no clue. No clue what I'm gonna do yet. It really just depends on what I draw, because with Dragapult, I can knock out the Sam the Samurott, the Snorunt. Oh, look at that. They take my Natsu. I really need to get rid of the Munkidori or the Frostlass. I can take two on this turn that follows. That's going to be really good for us. And we can turn this gimmicky deck around with... Pokemon Lee Headquarters, they cannot singe us. So there's light at the end of the tunnel. I think I desperately got to play Iono on this next turn. We just have to. And honestly, what I can... um, Actually, I'm just going to play Iono straight up. I think that's the smartest thing to do. Because I was thinking of doing Earthen Vessel. And with Earthen Vessel, we can do something... Why are you bossing me up? Bring in my Luminion, I dare you. I got a fire energy that I'm willing to sack. That's fine. That's definitely fine. Here's another Growlithe. I'm still gonna take two this next turn and I'm for it. For it, I tell you. Here comes another Snorunt, which means I'll be able to take it later. I like where this is going, not gonna lie. Okay, they're gonna singe me anyways. I am going to be able to get rid of my Luminion on the next turn, so I'm for it. I'm definitely for it. There's the Dracloak. Yeah. We're going to play the basic fire energy. We're going to retreat right off the bat. I'm only playing three of those, so I got to take it back. But in return, this is what we're doing. Okay, we'll play the Dracloak. I hate to do it, but I got to. We'll play the Iono. We get four, my opponent gets one. Or two, sorry. We're doing okay. We are definitely doing okay. Um, Do I want to take the Natu? I do. Nah, not really. We don't need any of these cards. I'll take the Natu. I won't place it yet, just in case, though. Do I play it? Do I want to play it? Part of me says, why not? Yeah, why not? 
Let's do it. I'm gonna pal pad. I'm gonna bring another Arvin. I'm gonna take one oh two Arvin actually. And to be honest, we just play the Phantom Dive, and we're gonna take the Snow Runt. And I think we win next turn, assuming they don't evolve their Snow Runt that they got right now. We should be able to take two somewhere. Do I got a boss's orders in here? Ooh, I got a Professor Two or Scenario though. I might be able to play that shortly. Let's see what happens next. I really want to take the Monkidori. Super, super tempted on taking that. How am I going to do it? I have no clue. Wonder what they're going to do with uh, Erida. Worst case scenario, I can Professor Turo my Dracloak. I know what I'm gonna do. No, I do not, actually. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Because that Munkidori is making it really hard for us. They just got a Prime Catcher. Oh, look at that. They're stacking damage now. Well. We don't got a whole lot of choices here. And again, I don't need any of these cards. Oh, they would have won. They were in winning position. We got lucky. Final game of the evening of the night. And we got nothing good. Somewhat expected, not going to lie. Feels like when you're on a winning streak, this game really hates you. For real feels that way. Okay. Yeah. One mulligan for us. And we got two Dreepy and a Luminian. So we're in okay position. We're in okay position. Take your mulligan. Circling back to game one, I was actually reading Legacy Energy's description, and there's a loophole. So, if you guys recall watching game one, my opponent had one prize card remaining. And they had it attached to the Dracloak that I believe had three damage counters on it. Oh, this is going to be a hard matchup. It's going to be a fun one, though. They had a Legacy Energy on that Dracloak that was on the bench, and on the field they had a, a Dragapult EX. Legacy Energy has a very specific text that says, If the Pokemon this card is attached to is knocked out by damage from an attack, keyword attack, from your opponent's Pokemon, that player takes one fewer prize card. Technically, we never hit my opponent with an attack. So we got away with one there, in other words. Which was pretty cool to see, not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna play the uh, Luminia sign Luminian so we can get an Arvin. Why, you may ask? That's a really good question. I'm gonna play Arvin right now, and obviously we get uh, Technical Machine Evolution. That's primarily why I want the uh, Gosh Darn Evolution card. And probably a good opportunity for us to see what we got in our prize pool. We got... One capturing aroma, if I'm not mistaken. We got one aroma. We got one rescue board. 
Okay, most importantly, energy. What energy do we got? We got one psychic. Okay, that's gonna be it. That's all we got time to analyze right now. Okay. From here, we play the Buddy Buddy Puffin. We gotta play a Dreepy and a Natu. And on the Dreepy that we have on board, we got to play the Evolution. What do we do here? I'm gonna select both Dreepy, and we're gonna place a Dracloak on each. Our bench is set for a somewhat good position, not gonna lie. Now, assuming we are able to snag a Zatu, which we can, in theory, because we got an Ultra Ball, we feel good. We feel really good. So my opponent has a Raging Bolt EX with a Fighting Energy. They have two Teal Mask Ogre Pond. They just played the Poke Gear 3.0. And because I was busy commentating, I didn't see what they picked up. They picked up a boss's orders, and that's it! Oh my goodness, this feels really good, not gonna lie. We're gonna play the Capturing Aroma. Give me a Heads. We get a Tails, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna grab... We're gonna grab a Natu. I like having two Zatu on board. Okay, let's see what we get with Draclok here. We're gonna get a boss's orders. We don't need the Buddy Buddy Puffin anymore. That's just um, nonsense at that point. We got a Zatu. Oh, most importantly, we got an Arvin. Arvin's gonna be pretty crucial. Why, you may ask? Because I just got an Earthen Vessel. Okay. From here, we're gonna play the Ultra Ball. We're gonna get rid of one of the boss's orders and one of the rescue boards. That's perfectly fine by me. Because what are we gonna do? We're gonna grab a Zatu, right? Yeah, we're gonna grab a Zatu. And grab it right here. We're gonna play the Earthen Vessel. I'm okay with getting rid of the Super Rod. Give me both of these. Why? Because I want to try to get another Zatu. If I can get another Zatu, we are pretty dang good right now. Oh, we just got a Drek Look. This is pretty good. We got another Zatu as well. Okay. We feel good. We feel really good about this too. Honestly, we just Ultra Ball and we get rid of both of these. We need to pick up momentum right now to grab our Dragapult. We got to pick up the momentum. Beautiful. This is what I'm talking about. We're at a big disadvantage. I hope my opponent doesn't draw an Iono. Or actually, I do hope they draw an Iono. That's a dub! Let's get it. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love this deck. This is my favorite deck. I really am sad that in real life, I invested in an Iron Future deck, or an Iron Box, whatever you want to call it, instead of a Dragapult EX deck. I really should have waited, and I'm kicking myself for it, but it's such a beautiful deck. We're going to go over it right now. You can copy it, you can modify it, you can do whatever the heck you want. Starting with the energy, we got four basic fire energy, and we got five basic psychic energy. Making it a total of nine. Starting with the Pokemon next, we got one Luminion V. I really love this card. Really, really love it. It came in clutch for us a couple of times, as you saw. And we got the Tatsugiri. It's actually a second somewhat Luminion. And then it goes well with the Rescue Board. So we could always attach and retreat or do whatever we want. We play two Zatu and three Natu. Zatu is super, super nice to have. You can honestly play three Zatu. I've ran three before, but I honestly got rid of one so I can get more than, you know, one Tatsugiri. We play four Dracloak. This is somewhat of an engine. These two, technically three, are engines to the deck, so they're absolutely beautiful and crucial to have. We got four Dreepy to complement the four Dracloak, and we got three Dragapult EX. You can also run a fourth. Um, I don't run four simply because I got the rod, and by the time your third one gets knocked out, you know, your opponent takes the six prize cards. Dragapult EX, oh my god, such a beautiful card. And such a good card. And honestly, what I can totally do, never mind. We're gonna go over the trainers. So we got three um, Buddy Buddy Puffins. Beautiful card. It's a really good card, by the way. And it's a staple in most decks, so I don't gotta mention it. 
Um, three Iono is a staple in my decks. You can definitely switch this up to your liking. We got three rare candy, one for each Dragapult, obviously. My A spec that I'm running is an unfair stamp. It can really shift momentum sometimes. You can obviously run Prime Catcher. You can run whatever you want. I got a Super Rod. I got two Professor Turo Scenario, such an important card to have and very underrated. Also a staple, at least one in every deck. Never know what you're going to come across. I got a Pokemon League Headquarters. This actually put a number on my opponent's uh, Growlithe that needed to use an energy to use Singe and it kind of put him behind or something like that. But this actually is very good as well to go against those Raging Bolt decks and it's also very good to go against the Iron Hand decks and all those basic uh, Pokemon decks. It's actually really, really nice. We got two bosses orders and make room for a third. I got two rescue board. I thought I was running three, but I'm actually running a technical machine evolution. I like rescue board because all of the Pokemon in this deck have one retreat cost and it's really, really, really good in my own opinion. I got four Arvin. Arvin is a pretty good card to have and I like running four of them. We got three Capturing Aroma, we got three Ultra Ball, Jamming Tower. You can honestly do away with this card, but the reason I have it is because I'm really afraid of Future Box decks and Lost Box decks, or not Lost Box, Lost Box. There goes my braces affecting my speech and I hate it. I only had my top braces for seven months and then I got my bottom and my bracket broke and now I'm having a hard time talking, my bite is very uncomfortable, and the list goes on. But Jamming Tower, I like this because it goes well against Ancient Box decks. We got one Earthen Vessel, I really like this card. You can probably get rid of Jamming Tower to run a second one, but it's a very important card to have because, you know, it's a dual energy deck. Very crucial. And then we got one Palpad. I like running Palpad because sometimes I get rid of, you know, Turo, or professors, or not professor, bosses orders, um, Arvin, and things of that nature, and it just lets me recycle cards. There you have it. This is my Dragapult EX deck, and I absolutely love it. I hope you caught this deck. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you guys on the next video.